All right, installing SuperCow and putting an icon to the game on the desktop. First step is to get the game, SuperCow, find it in the store. Uh, it's already purchased, so all I have to do is click the purchased button. It'll bring down a little dialog. It says it's something we've already purchased. It's in our purchase history or our mind game section. So we'll click the link and it'll take us to that purchase history. And it'll show all the games that you've purchased in the, in the past. Mine, unfortunately, is huge because I work for the store. So I have 600 some odd games in here. But I'll go all the way down to the S's. S's, 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 S's. And... Super Cow. And you click the download button. That'll start the downloading process. It'll put the game in our My Games library, which is there on the left. My Games purchases, and there's Super Cow now downloading. Shouldn't take very long, it's a pretty small app. And there's a couple different options, you know, a couple different ways to go once it's downloaded. Uh, the uh, action button here, which is changing as we speak, uh, eventually it'll just say play. The play button has an option to reveal in Finder. And there it is. And from there, you can just drag the whole app to the desktop. Oh, I don't know if that's a new feature in Yosemite, but it just made what's called an alias on the desktop. That is actually a shortcut to the app. The app is still in the same place, and uh, this just takes you right to it. Whenever you click this icon, it'll run the game, but if you were to delete that icon, it does not delete the game. The game is still in the same place. It's in the applications folder, a subfolder called Mac Game Store, and inside a couple subfolders there in SuperCal. Um, huh, well. Anyway, used to be by just dragging would copy, but now I see you can see the little arrow, the curved arrow on the icon as you drag it that's going to make an alias. If you do want to put a whole copy of the game on the desktop, hold down the option key uh, while you drag it. There it goes. And then it's, you know, the plus sign means it'll make a copy of the app on the desktop. If you want to move it, gosh, I don't know how to you used to just be able to move it to the desktop. I don't know why it's so different now. But anyway, just drag it to the desktop. There'll be an alias there. Open the alias, and it'll open your game. And it's easily accessible right there on the desktop.